As you see, I want to talk about conflict in Afghanistan and Ukraine. Unfortunately, nowadays, all people around the world, not just Afghan people, not Ukrainian, not Asian, not European, American, African, Australian, all people around the world are suffering from war and consequence of war. Perhaps, perhaps some people experience the war and consequence of war directly like me. And some people experience and see the consequence of war and conflict indirectly like you. But the story is the same. We are suffering from this situation which established in different countries. Of course, you understand me. Afghanistan and Ukraine began with the newspaper of the world. The day of Afghan people start with phobia and fear. The day of Ukrainian start and begin with destruction, with killing and massacre of ordinary people and innocent people. It's a power, it's a common idea in Afghanistan. Afghanistan be, yes, Afghanistan, look, Afghanistan start with the war. Afghanistan began with the tragedy. Afghanistan began with that picture. This is my destiny. This is my situation. Of course, when you see this picture, when you review your memory regarding to the Afghanistan situation, regarding to the Ukraine situation, of course, you face with different questions. Among all those questions, the significant questions are like this. What's the exact cause which lead to the war? What's the main reason or cause of conflict in Afghanistan and Ukraine? Of course, there are a lot of and several factors and elements which directly or indirectly impact on the conflict and war in Ukraine and in Afghanistan. But when I juxtapose two countries to my mind, we can find some differentiation between Ukraine and Afghanistan. To my mind, of course, there is a conflict, there is a war in Ukraine. Throng of people in Ukraine were killed. Throng of innocent people lost their opportunity, lost their life. But why, why people of Ukraine face with such a crisis and challenges? Of course, there are a lot of factors. Among those factors, I think the external dimension is so significant. As you know that, as you know that, the competition between Russia and US, competition between Putin and NATO, may be facilitated and lead to this situation. 
In another word, we can say the external dimension is so important and is the main cause for war and conflict in Ukraine. The nature of policy in Russia and as well the nature of policy of NATO is the main cause for war and conflict in Ukraine. But the story in Afghanistan totally may be different. In Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, conflict has two sides, both external and internal. Of course, in terms of external factors, the competition between regional power, our neighbor like Pakistan, Iran, China, and some Central Asian countries, the competition between those countries, of course, facilitated war and conflict in Afghanistan. Of course, the challenge between, challenge between India and Pakistan, challenge between China and Iran, of course, facilitate the war, facilitate conflict in Afghanistan. Challenge between Russia and US, Russia and NATO, like the Ukraine, of course. To my mind, to my mind, the internal factors in Afghanistan is so significant. Maybe, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, you have some common information, and general information regarding to Afghanistan or no. Afghanistan is a multi-ethnic country. There are a lot of and several ethnic in Afghanistan. Among all those ethnics, just there are four majority group, ethnic group. You know, Pashtun, Hazara, Tajik, and Uzbek. Four ethnic groups. In Afghanistan, struggle each other. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the Pashtun ethnic has great tendency to the radicalism. Pashtun ethnic in history of Afghanistan and nowadays has a political power in his hand. All president, king, Amir al muminin and so-so are Pashtun. Taliban, maybe you know, Taliban is a radical group in Afghanistan that took power last year in Kabul, took power, political power, belonged to Pashtun ethnic, Pashtun guys. And Pashtun ethnics affected by do to thinker famous person. You know, no? Bin Laden and Ayman al-Zawahiri. Ayman al-Zawahiri was killed about two or three months ago in Kabul. Although the representative of Taliban promised in negotiation peace in Qatar, we cut all relation, all connection with Al-Qaeda. But, but, Ayman al-Zawahiri as a leader of Al-Qaeda was in Kabul and lead 
all political strategy and policy in behalf of Taliban. But of course, the NATO have the NATO and all international intelligence have such a information regarding to the Al Qaeda and Ayman al Zawahiri. But I don't know why. Why NATO and democratic society like European countries deal with Afghan people like this? I don't know why. Why? When the NATO came to Afghanistan in 2000, 2001, I exactly remember the new generation of Afghanistan, the new generation of Afghanistan had great tendency to be democrat, to accept modern value, modern style, not only the boy, but also women and girls. But now, now, Afghan girls are not allowed to go to the university, are not allowed. Why? Because they are girls. Unfortunately, unfortunately, two weeks ago, more than 56 girls and students were killed in explosion in an academy of Koch, which belonged to the Hazara community and belonged to the Dashti Barchi as a specific location of Hazara. Why? Because they are Hazara. This is my story. This is my situation. Hazara, as a specific community, as a specific ethnic in Afghanistan, in terms of their belief and in terms of their ethnicity, face genocide nowadays in Afghanistan. Genocide. About after that explosion, after that event, we launched a campaign through on Twitter, we ask all European countries and all liberal and democrat people around the world, please help us, please assist us, because we face genocide. And nowadays, after this decision, I will, I will deliver my lecture in a space of Twitter because of that campaign. So, so, at the end, because time is maybe over, at the end, just, I want to say that and sum up like this. The present situation is a reflection of NATO decision in Afghanistan. Romania, as a member of NATO, of course, with thanks, but we, we hope, we hope, we hope NATO and democratic countries help all democratic system and democratic value and democratic generation in Afghanistan. Because Taliban is not fear and phobia just for Afghan people, not just for Hazara community, but also for all country and for all Democrats around the world, for all women, for all girls, for, for all students. The good example, the policy and the picture of two those leaders, one from Arabistan, the second from Egypt, just came to Afghanistan and lead all political strategy and policy in Afghanistan. As I told you, unfortunately, one community in Afghanistan we can call Pashtun has a great tendency to join to the radicalism and extremism. Taliban as a good example for this ethnic. That's all. Thank you very much.